Hey there Sagittarius, welcome to your weekly tarot reading. This one is for October 16th to the 22nd, so let's see what may be on the cards for you. Now before I do dive in, Sag, if you wouldn't mind hitting the like button, you might want to think about leaving me a comment, and please do uh, hit subscribe if you enjoy these readings. Uh, it's all engagement based here on YouTube, so engaging is what keeps the, the videos coming. I'll be so grateful for that. And when you do leave a comment, um, I get to know you, connect with your energy, and it makes it easier for for me to read for my collective. I've been doing this for five years. I've replied to almost every comment. I've seen a lot of shifts and changes in many of your lives. It's been quite magical actually. So yeah, I'd love to, to keep the magic going. And um, if you'd like a personal reading or healing at any stage, a first link down below will take you to my website, Saji. You can check out what I do offer there. Uh, also, I have a freebie, a free Learn Tarot Quick Guide. If you'd like to get started in interpreting the cards for yourself, that is also linked below, as is my more immersive paid offering. It's a tarot course called The Initiation. I teach a full foundation in tarot as well as my professional signature reading process in that one, so that by the end of it, you'll be able to really put together readings for yourself, family and friends, and hey, maybe even paid readings if that is a calling for you. There's also my karmic community linked below. That is my free email newsletter and my Instagram account. Please look for the blue ticked verified account or or do use the link below. There are scammers out there. There are also people that choose to use my profile photo <laughs> on their own accounts, which is um, yeah, total theft of identity. I have reported them to Instagram, but most of the time they say that they're actually not violating community guidelines. It's pretty crazy. Anyway, you'll know you're in the right place with the blue ticked account. Your reading starts with Sagittarius. Confidence is the key to your success. It is the new moon in Leo. So maybe you're wanting to, to move towards some kind of new start here. I mean, Leo energy, strength, courage, and bravery to follow the call of the heart. Confidence is the key to your success, absolutely, because there's so many blocks within us when we think about stepping into the unknown or the new. We have to really own it, right? We have to um, be confident to maybe make a, a move here to take a leap of faith to trust ourselves and back ourselves. So you're being asked to step into your confidence, okay, and channel a bit of Leo energy. You might be dealing with a Leo too. Okay, Sag, I've got just the major arcanas here. There are 22 of these big themes in the tarot. As it pertains to confidence is the key to your success, you are working with justice. Libra energy, we're in Libra season. So there's a new beginning available to you this month. You might be making a powerful justice call, a powerful decision that's going to bring things, you know, back into balance in your life, okay? So sometimes there is a, a contract or a legal situation involved as it pertains to justice. Maybe you're on the receiving end of a decision or a legal verdict. We'll find out. Okay, Sergi, I'm going to pull you four cards from the Rider Weight. I will then clarify them as I go and as I do the read. So we have Situational Energy, Page of Cups. So that is an, an incredible energy right there. That's your new beginning. Oof, the Sun. It's in the challenge position though, so we're going to be unlocking that. That's also Leo energy, by the way. Advice, five of cups. Okay, that's an interesting uh, mix. Let's go for your outcome. Eight of pentacles, ten of wands at the bottom of the deck. Okay, so look, um, you know, look, I don't want to say too much uh, too soon, but it feels like this could be work careersy for many of you. Well, let's get to the clarifier for the page of cups. You know, ten, the eight of Eight of Cups. So the eight's coming through. I think we've got work career abundance themes here. And, you know, it feels like you're wanting to end a cycle where maybe you've been working really hard and not really getting the result, the results or the rewards that you're really hoping for. And confidence is the key to your success in October. I feel there's a new contract here for you. Now, generally, we have to be seeking and looking to be able to magnetize that in. For some of you, you know, you might have been synchronistically, let's say, 
lucky enough in the right place at the right time for a page of cups moment where we have a change catalyst come in and offer opportunity uh, that maybe you know it makes this you know, a little bit easier for you but if you do seek you will find right and the, the page of cups for me is a very uh, happy opportunity that feels like it's going to uh, bring you a greater sense of emotional fulfillment like all the cups energy um, but also, you know, I feel that it can lead to greater abundance, monetary abundance as well. Now it's coming in with the Eight of Cups clarifier and the Eight of Cups is this energy of starting to accept the fact that you might have to move on from where you are. Like the Eight of Cups is going, okay, yeah, look, not bad. Like I've worked really hard here, but I've kind of ended up here. I've ended up in a bit of burnout. Or there's a glass ceiling on, on really where I can go here and now it's just feeling a little bit like Groundhog Day and a bit on autopilot, you know what I mean, there's no sort of further growth. So Eight of Cups, not bad, but it's resulted in that Ten of Wands feeling. Generally with the Eight of Cups, we want to get to the Nine where we really feel content and satisfied, a bit of a wish fulfilled, or the Ten of Cups, wow, I am living my best life, right, full of blessings. But the journey to those energies is through the gateway portal of the Eight of Cups. We must accept that what we have isn't going to take us there, and we seek the opportunity or attract it, and then that door starts opening. Then we have to have the confidence to step through, and that is the key to our success. Okay, the block is the sun. Let's uh, clarify that for you. King of Pentacles. So the sun for me would be you overcoming, you know, the resistance to step into the unknown and go through this kind of rebirth that's going to bring all of the growth, all of the abundance and the incredible positive new energy of the sun. Comes in with the King of Pentacles, Taurus energy, and the King of Pentacles can be an authority figure, it could be your current boss manager mentor that might that you maybe you have a really positive relationship with and you don't want to let them down. Disappointment, um, five of cups. It could be, you know, that the king of pentacles is this kind of fear of destabilizing yourself in some way. Because sometimes the page of cups can be a bit of a dream job. But it can be like a more creative venture. It might be a startup, startup company or a less traditional um, company or organization where you, you, know, you, you have the opportunity to go in at a higher level, right? Because it's more in its establishing, um, getting established time frame. So that energy is there. The King of Pentacles also can be, you know, the fact that the contract, the block saying yes to the contract for some of the reasons that we have spoken about, okay. But the sun doesn't usually come into a reading unless we have, you know, a really sort of positive, bright future here. It feels like this is very much the next move, the next chapter. But whether you move towards it, the truth, the, the choice is really yours. I said truth then, Freudian slip. You know, maybe this is all sort of playing out and you are yet to kind of make that final decision or sign that contract. And then you're going to have to deliver your outcome to, to people here that you're involved with. Okay, Six of Cups, yeah. So the advice, Six of Cups and the Five of Cups, I feel that where you're moving on from you actually have some quite pleasant, you know, happy memories here, maybe friendships with colleagues, you know, you, you might feel like you're a bit of the part of the furniture, as we say here, like you have a sense of belonging, but there is an acknowledgement that it can't take you to the kind of goals, financial or in terms of role development that you're really hoping for. So that's disappointing that you have to make this move, but it's also happy and, you know, it's a bit of a double-edged sword, but you know it's, it's what you need to do. That's what I'm getting from this. It's your time to receive and that opportunity, that new partnership, that new professional partnership is really close. But don't focus too much on the disappointment or, or who you might have to, let's say, let down. Unfortunately, we are all replaceable and, you know, lives change and... Uh, people go on to do other things and it's just part of the process. So the outcome is the Eight of Pentacles, Ten of Wands. 
And um, yeah, it's just the sigh of relief when you decide, Eight of Pentacles, to move on to this new work opportunity. Ten of Cups at the bottom of the deck. That's where you're heading to. And I've just clarified these cards with the Magician. So ultimately the decision is yours. You are in your power here. Confidence is your key to, to the key to your success. Now if you're worried about, oh I don't know if I can step into this, do I have the skills, do I have, you know, what I need, do I have the leadership, do I have the strength, courage, bravery, yes. One of the, the meanings of the magician is that you do have it all. You know, sometimes we get that imposter syndrome that kind of comes in and we feel like we're a bit of a faker. Well, sometimes we've got to fake it before we make it, before it becomes our natural state of being, before it becomes innate to us. So the magician is an energy of taking action. And through that, I feel like you can really transform your, your career situation here. And finally, take a sigh of relief and get past this kind of burnout drudgery phase and be, you know, head down, tail up, whistling while you work, right? This is happy, carving out a new path, getting recognized, feeling proud. Confidence is the key to your success. There's a beautiful opportunity here, Sagittarius. The sun is here saying, it's the green light to move forward and there's a positive future here. But you need to make a justice call and I think that this month you're going to be signing on the dotted line on some kind of new contract. That's what I have for you, Sag. I am going to leave it there. I hope you enjoyed this message. Uh, keep in mind it's a general reading. If you'd like to tune into your specific per personal circumstances, you can get a personal reading with the first link down below uh, at my website. Don't forget to like, share, comment. Please do subscribe on your way out if you're so grateful. I'm wishing you all the love and magic, Sagittarius. I'll see you back here very soon. Bye for now.